Hello, hello. Okay, we're going to do things a little differently. Because I've got to keep evolving, right? I've got to keep evolving. There you are, right there. Okay. So this, I'm going to do a two-day vlog. I'm just, I'm just trialing things, just playing around a little bit. Um, I really needed to do a daily vlog up till this point. But now I'm starting to find that I want to economise a little bit on my time and on the content. So I'm just going to try this out and see if it works for me. If not, I'll go back to doing it the other way. So today is actually, I'm doing the vlog for Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. Today's day 38. <laughs> Another record. I broke, this is a brand new record for Martine. Well done, Martine. Yes. All right, so Monday, day 36. So I'm going to go a little bit faster. And just remember for the, or if you do or don't know, I'm going, I'm transitioning to high fat carnivore because I want to see if it's going to work for me. I'm only going to know that if I can go there and stay there for a little while. So I've given myself a month to get to 100 grams of fat a day. I've got no gallbladder. I have fatty liver. I take milk thistle every day. Um, I just need to be careful. Like, I don't want to go crazy and I, you know, have a medical emergency. So I thought um, day 38 today, if I give myself like the month of March, I know we're, it's the 11th or the 12th of March today, which is fine. Even to the end of March and then in April, I can start looking at getting to 150 grams of fat. From what I can tell, but please, if you've done high fat, feel free to share your experience with me below. I'd love that. Um, from what I can tell, 200 grams is a figure everyone talks about. 180, 200, something like that. So, or maybe it's the range is between 150 and 200. I'm still learning. So anyway, my first goal is to get to 100 grams of fat a day. The other thing I'm not sure about is how do I, how are we counting the fat in food as opposed to fat we add? I mean, is it just, I, I use my fitness power. Is it just my do we just use a calorie counter like a to count the fat or is there some other way that I don't know about? So I've got, I've made some whipped tallow. Now, by the end of the week, today's Thursday, you know, by the end of the week, early next week, I'm going to need to make some more and that's okay. I've got some, but I'm just trying to find a way to add fat that I can tolerate that is going to be okay for my stomach. So at the moment this week, I'm using whipped tallow. So that's what I'm going to be using for now. All right, so now I'm just going to do two days. What have I eaten in two days? All right, so I've had, I had two uh, vanilla whipped tallow bites. So I'm going to just call that vanilla. And then I had two coffee and they're double the size. So they were 16 and 16. And that was amazing. That was 48 grams in one hit. I put it into a hot drink and I whipped the hot drink with my frother. Uh, it was a vanilla Nespresso and it worked really well. And that was 48 grams of fat that I added in one go. And it had a, a mild tallow taste at the end of the coffee, but not at the beginning. I couldn't taste it at all. Then I had half a slice of brisket and some pork belly. So a brisket and pork belly bowl. And I don't know how much fat was in that, but um, it was delicious. Then I had another coffee and I put two coffee tallows in. Uh, then I had quite a bit of biltong and I, I'd i sort of weighed it. So I know I had about 150 grams of biltong and that's about 30 grams of fat. So... That was delicious. I made that on the weekend. Then I had um, a bowl of jelly. That's got some coconut cream in it, um, but I haven't I haven't counted that fat in in this day's count. Then I had another two of the little vanilla pucks. 
Now, what I like doing, what I've already discovered, is that when I go into the kitchen to make something, if I grab myself a tallow bite then, I can look basically eat it over a couple of minutes, like I just nibble on it, and that helps me get some fat in. It also means that when I serve myself my food, I'm not serving myself the same amount of protein. Because obviously if I'm increasing my fat, then I'm decreasing my protein. That's the theory that I have researched. And because I am learning my hunger signals, I'm still trying to work out how much is the right amount. So it's good for me to be able to have some fat before my meal. That way I can then, when I, I actually almost am not as hungry when I'm serving myself. So it's, it's a little system that's working for me right now. So then I had a porterhouse steak for dinner and I am drinking water, obviously, all through the day. Here's my... Um, it's a little later in the day today. That's my water with ice in it. Let me just have a sip while I'm here. Nice. Nice and cold. I have these massive square ice blocks that I use. Um, and I know that most of my biltong is like almost 20% fat because I used an 18% and a 17%. So I've just rounded it off to 20%. And so then I roughly know how much fat is in that. And so I worked out for the day, I was 138 grams of fat, which is way over my target. Target is 100 grams for March each day. So I did that quick, didn't I? Let me just try to pull down my notes here. Pull that down. That was Monday, day 36. So here's Tuesday, day 37. I got up early, I had quite broken sleep. So I got up early, <clears throat> I ate some biltong, pardon me. Then um, for breakfast in the morning, I had a beef, bowl, beef and bacon bowl. It was brisket strips, steak strips, and I had some speck in the freezer, like it's a block of speck. So I thought, oh, I pulled it out. I thinly sliced it and then I sliced it again into strips and popped it back in the bag. And I had some of that that I um, did in the air fryer. So that was a nice little breakfast bowl in the morning. Then I had some coffee and cream, having a little break from the tallow in my coffee. <laughs> oh, I reckon every second day could be good for me. We'll see. Then I, I didn't really know what I felt like. So I thought I'll go with Bella's steamed egg pudding. We love that. Thank you, Bella. If ever she's watching this, who knows? Bella, I love that. Your mother's steamed egg pudding recipe. It's beautiful. Um, so I had two vanilla pucks um, whilst I was making the egg pudding. Then I steamed that, made that, had that, the son was in the kitchen and he said to me, Mum, do you want to add a little bit of mirin and dashi? And there, um, because of the Asian flavours, I said, yes. So I added half a teaspoon of each. I know that's not a lot, but that egg pudding is a very mild flavour. So whatever you add to it is going to be strong. It's the same with the pork belly mayo that I don't know if you've made it. It's on my channel, the recipe. Because it's so neutral in flavour, pork belly oil, the, the fat from the pork belly, I'm not talking about bacon fat, I'm talking about pork belly fat. I found that it's so neutral that all you can taste is whatever you add to it. So I, my first batch, I've added too much vinegar for the, for the lightness of the flavour, right? So you, you learn these things as you go along. So anyway, I added a tiny bit of those two things. I couldn't taste them in the end result, but it was very delicious. Very, probably the best one I've made yet. And I made a few of them now. Um, so, and you know, there's five grams of fat in an egg yolk. I didn't know that. So that was 20 grams of fat because I had a four egg steamed pudding. Uh, then I cooked some really good sausages, uh, very low, low, no carbs in them, just sausages with some spices. And I had two of those. And that was nice, nice treat late afternoon. 
And then I made a mixed grill for dinner. I had some beef and bacon, basically, with, um, it was my Harvey beef mince that I'd made yesterday, and it was in the fridge with some bacon that I had sliced up and cooked with it. That is my favourite, that Harvey beef mince. Harvey is a town down the southwest of Western Australia, and their beef is fantastic. Anyway, and then I cooked three eggs, soft yolk on top, and I have got some footage of that. So I'm doing really well. I'm about to wrap up. This is awesome. So I calculated 86 grams that I know of of fat. I reckon I got to the 100 gram mark for sure. Um, I didn't, I don't know how much fat was in the sausages. I hadn't added that in. And I haven't added in the fat from, I guessed an amount of fat for the brisket, but I guessed very low. Like for the beef bowl, I, I guessed it at 10 grams of fat because I'm not sure and I need to do a bit more research so I can get a rough figure. Um, again, just for March, whilst I'm learning how much fat is in some of the things I eat, I'm going to work that out. Um, I'm hoping that I'll learn that and then I'll know and I won't have to keep checking it sort of thing. But so my only two notes that I wrote down here to just to chat about was the toilet and the goal. So with my toilet, I'm waiting for diarrhea. I know that sounds, <laughs> just fast forward this if you don't want to hear, this is absolutely good. Um, I've heard many people say when they do high fat that there's that period of time. I think Kelly Hogan said it took months for her tummy not to be upset. Um and others have spoken about it, right? Uh, so this is part of the reason why I want to go to 100 grams a day for a few weeks and then go to 150 grams for a few weeks or a month, whatever, and then see if I go to, what, 175, 180, 200? I'm not sure beyond that because I'm still doing research. I haven't hit diarrhea yet. It's Wednesday I started increasing my fat significantly on Saturday or Sunday. So I'm day four or five in day four. Let's just say day four. So I do understand that diarrhea is going to mean more fat than my body is processing, right? That it's used to processing. So I've got enzymes. That was the other thing, enzyme tablets. So there's milk thistle enzyme tablets. I have to be careful of... Um, I've had pancreatitis in the past, so I don't want to trigger, I don't want to inflame my pancreas with extra fat, which is why, again, I'm doing this in stages. Because you've got to remember, I'm in my 50s. So someone's body in their 20s is going to tolerate that differently, 30s, 40s, 50s. You you know, it, it, isn't, it isn't equal across the board. And also, depending on what you've got going on. So that is almost my um, vlog done. My goal, I've already explained to you. So um, the other thing was just my goal. My goal is to get to 100 grams of fat every day for March. And then I'm going to do 150 grams of fat. I'm going to move up every day for a while <clears throat> in April. And then I'll know after that what I want to do from there. So that's it. Oh, 13 minutes, 14 minutes. Oh, and I may edit some out. So that's really good. So I'm going really well. Well done, Martine. That was day, um, I do get the days. That was day 36 and 37. Today is day 38. <laughs> I'm so excited. And I'm loving the tallow. I really want to make, I'm just, I'm just going to ramble on now for just a minute. I want to make a chocolate tallow. And I may, and I may make, I want to make a coffee one that's different. Uh, I made it with a, a coffee oil. Um, excuse me. I'm thinking about um, actually just getting a little bit of strong coffee and adding that to the whipped tallow. I'm not sure how much liquid the tallow can absorb, like water, because, you know, oil and water don't mix. So I'm just not sure about that. The way I added it was like, it was almost like an essential oil. I don't know, there's these little bottles 
bottles of oil. I'm sure I've showed them to you. Um, oh, they're in the they're on the channel somewhere. Yeah. So anyway, I want to play around with that. I will be due to make some more tallow in about a week. In the next week, I'm going to make some more whipped tallow. So that's exciting. I hope you're doing well. Um, hi, Star Looker. Yes, keeping me up to date with everything. I love it. It's awesome. Thank you. Got a new friend. She's here. Oh, she or he is in Perth too, which is cool. So I hope you're doing well. Drop me a line. Say hi. Um, I'm doing more recipes. If you want a recipe, me to play around with the sort of recipe. If I can, I will. If you want to leave me a comment and say what. But yeah, I hope you're doing well. And I will see you. I'm going to do two daily vlog vlogs from here. So I proved to myself today I could do it. <laughs> um, I've just got to do it quick, right? I've, so I proved that to myself. So I will see you in two days, two days time. All right. Sending you love. Mwah. Bye.